Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice. Okay, and of course we're playing as Germany. Now I've um, deployed a bunch of um, aircraft out here. Um, I'm sending some submarines over to Italy before the war to raid in the Mediterranean. Um, it's covert ops, you know, that kind of thing. I want I really wonder what what Britain would have done had um, it's flickering because we're going so fast here and the AI is dancing its units around um, wonder what would have happened if they had done that. Um, once the U.S. was in the war, the U.S. would have just declared war, but Britain was at such a strained point if Italy wasn't in the war, war right away. And they knew it had to be, but didn't have direct evidence. I wonder if Britain would have added another direct enemy. Okay. Formation fighting for fighters. That's good. doing some better decrypts to keep that somewhat up to date. Um, we are in 1940 here. Just started in January. Well, just because of that, I want to make sure that we... Okay, there's really nothing until... Well, nothing really until 41. Okay. Now, we have recon radio. And we have tank radios here. Are these these are infantry radios like the US. Okay, well breakthrough organization reconnaissance. Well, let's go with reconnaissance first. We'll do that. And yes, you're probably noticing I'm doing more combat techs as we're getting ready for War coming up here once spring hits. Okay, and now. Got that. We might as well do this because, I mean, not that this isn't useful, it is, but the sooner you get this done, that better that 6% research bonus will help across everything, so do it. As early as practical, I'm not saying push the technology like two years ahead or something, but just once it hits, do it, then go back and get other things. Because it'll only make getting the decrypt or the encryption faster or similar sorts of things. And as you can see here now, okay, oh, pause, pause, okay, well, um, we've got um, also a small... Armored force under Monch, von Monstein, Monstein, here operate in the north, and we've just got naval effect too, which will help us out a lot. Got urban drop, but it's still too early really for the, I want to do this for seven day. If it was seventy day, I'd be starting that right now. Very good. Um, I've not seen the AI bomb much effectively. Um, it may get better, but that's sort of the main reason I haven't done that.
Now let's do second piano awards, which will help push Hungary into our camp. Now we got the DO-17, Dornier. because we now have more naval effect. We got more factories. Okay, we have long range, mid range, and short range. Use the best version here. Okay. Just still not sure on that. Did I upgrade one of these? Okay, this is mid range attack sub. Okay, um, 30, 30, 10, 5, I'm not sure that I'm, no, I don't think I'm producing the best type here. Is this, is this the... Um, okay, evasion 38.1. Oh, yeah, no, we are, because that's evasion 35. Yeah, no, that's the, the upgraded one that I did. Just wanted to make sure that's what we're producing. Producing some um, short range because um, notice we've got two factories running here, and we're compared to three. And we're pumping them out about as fast as that, um, as the, um, oh, and we want to change the location. All right. Here, no, come on, too much stuff on the screen. No. There we go. We'll also have our attack subs show up there. Once we get some ports, I want to build them out here. Get them so they can get out into the Atlantic better, but for now. So let's see, we just have one more factory here. Almost got that cleared up. So yeah, we'll put it to these and then when we get this we'll produce some more destroyers to back up our or convoys we have a lot but we're gonna probably take some losses okay increase number of torpedoes so that'll allow us to move up to here when we're well of course I want all these things Let's look at the dates, because that's what we're producing now with the upgrades, but that should upgrade that. Mm. Magnetic detonation. Air warning. Let's do that. Do we still have more slots? I thought we... Oh. Oh, the ship just came, came out. Okay. So, let's... Do one for a convoy. Let's 
just to be producing some. And PO tax sixty seven. Yeah, this looks like it's a better version, so that will give us three there. And we want to... I like having the wider screen, but it makes it hard to click on things at times. There been a little talk though it's not likely to happen any anytime soon. Meaning like it's been talk, but um more like for Hearts of Iron five or six, but um multi screen support would be really nice. Some people would like that. And I'm sure the devs would like to do it, but it's just not something on their current radar. So I'd love to be able to have the production screen off over to the left and um, move all this stuff off over to the right. Or like when you, um, or when things like click here or something like this, have this off over to the right, you know, really be sort of. keeping everything moving like that. We've got Bulgaria and Italy. You know, obviously we also have Slovakia, but we want to get Hungary and Romania. Now, how are we doing for... Well, okay. We're building a bunch of the um, synthetic rubber factories. This is ridiculously huge over here. The army. I'm not sure what's going on with all that. Okay, Red Finland joins the common turn? Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute here. Okay, so Red Finland's joined the commenter, and we have this, but they've already grabbed up here. How interesting. How interesting. That'll make the game different. This just is happening a little too early. But it's supposed to happen after Poland. but looks like no winter war. That'll be interesting to see how we do. Maybe we'll do a naval invasion up into Finland to create a front up there to help liberate the Finns from the evils of socialism. Okay, anti-tank up. Great, great. We needed that. Now, yeah, let's do that and improve our anti tank units. If nothing else, 
Let's see here. Okay. Well, let's see. 25, 150, 170 about divisions there. I'm just vaguely counting. What's the Italian army down here? I don't know, but another 20 or 10 or whatever. Well, the Italian army in 1936 was about 70, what was it, 3 or 76 divisions? Man, this is way overbuilding. Not necessarily Black Ice's fault. Because we are, because I mean that was just these over here. Okay, 214, so with that plus, what, there's 90, oh, that's the ships. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't, ex because, well, one, Italy had massive troubles just, well, no, it couldn't, it couldn't, that number of divisions, they were um, dramatically under strength in many key equipment, and I, because I've been researching some of the Italian government stuff for what I've been working on. Um, like, I don't know, I think about two-thirds of the Italian artillery pieces were World War One and pre-World War One guns, including a lot of captured stuff from Austria-Hungary from the end of World War One. That's how poor the Italian armed forces was. It had no ability to um, more than double the size of its divisions and equipment, industrial capabilities. It's That's how... Um, poor Italy is at building this stuff so mm. okay Soviet influence in Europe since the rise to power of the SKP um, Red Finland has been working towards closer relations with the Soviet Union although Emil Hamilton remains in office ministers are chosen for their allegiance to the Soviet Union okay the Soviet Union expanding. Does that mean they're taking over or just... Okay. Um, yes, bypassed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to give the historical northern bit. A little tension shoots up. April. I'm looking for a May start to the war. So... many days too many days too many too many too many seven days So we're going to go with the pull it side. Division 35 days. Poland joins the Allies. Okay, well we know that was going to happen once the war started anyways. Okay, who wants to come to our faction? Oh, yes. Please. And... Now that we're getting more um, rubber, we'll expand because I want to build a lot of things with rubber and oil. Okay, well, we're up to the 39s. Obviously, we're in 40 and we haven't hit this yet. this yet and we have 
haven't done this yet. Desert Warfare. Headquarters attack. Explosive teams. Some G teams. Uniforms and boots. Recovery rate. That looks really good. I haven't even done that yet. Let's go with that. A lot of help there. Got to balance it. Hungry is accepted. Great. Now. Second Vienna Award. Good. Oh, we've chopped up Romania. They should do a shift in government. Yep. World tension isn't enough for them. Okay. Now that we're getting even closer, let's look at oil. Well, we're going to reduce Iran. Oh. I think we have a okay, we have a benefit of positive six. So we're going to totally stop Iran. We don't want to be importing overseas. And we're going to increase this by one. Get more of their oil. Yeah, it means a little bit of a deficit. That's okay. And we should probably do a deficit there for rubber as well. That's not going to last forever anyways. Yes, we will do that since they are our friends. Bulgaria. Not really cards up Romania. Now Romania is more or less here back to what it was. Well, maybe not the best Arabian part, I'm not sure on. But before it was, before World War I, all of its sort of gains. Actually, I think part of this was still part of Austria-Hungary. Okay, now we've got a few now I feel like um, forming another armor group. Now who do we want to put it under? Um, Sean and all these mountain troops. Not Castle Ring, that's for sure. Harp, maybe. Panzer leader. Schweppenberg, he's also a panzer leader. Naring, another panzer leader. Good. I don't seem to have a very good opinion of my fave. Well, not my favorite, but one of the ones that I like. Papa Hoth. So, um... Now let's put it under harp. Right, some ausrücken. Ihre Befehle. And we've got enough. We're gonna race to Warsaw just fine. Warsaw is here. Not that we need to, but. Okay, we maxed out the invasion army for um, the Netherlands. So let's start a new army here. Transfer them down to the Western Front. And who do we want to give this to? This is back defense now. We may need a didn't have any bonuses. 
Not an SS, not an SS. Offensive and defensive specials. Okay. Black Witch or whatever. Okay, we're going to give that to him. And. Send. Oh, so good. Here, he's joining that army. And now uh, he's joining that army as well. Alright. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Ausrücken. Okay, well. I don't have a necessarily a very good use for the political power right now. So 1% research bonus would be nice, so we'll go with that again. Okay, the pull outside division SS event. Okay, they haven't really done much here. Obviously, that's a picture of German army soldiers, not um, either German military police, because at this time it was the pull outside division, not the um, Waffen SS division. It sort of morphed over time from one thing to a, you know into another. More and more became a, an SS unit. Um, well, of course the SS were under the, or the police were under the SS, that's for sure. Mm, let's look at this OOB here. Well, that's pretty decent. It's an infantry division, as it should be. As opposed to motorized. It was very much under sort of equipped historically um, which it shows there which that's good what's our division okay and it was used in Poland um, let's give it to Hauser Ausrücken. well we're going to end the episode there I want to thank you for watching, thanking, thank you for, uh, excuse me, uh, for liking the videos, and of course, please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas, love hearing from you. See you next time. We're going to be starting the war. Thanks a lot.